How do you do, friends, and welcome to the Buck Owens Show. My name is Buck Owens, and these boys are the Buckaroos. We're going to be with you for about the next half an hour. We got some songs planned for you. We hope we do something that you like. Oh, the sun's going to shine in my life once more. Love's going to live here again. I knew Buck Owens because he's a Texas boy. A lot of people don't realize he was born in Texas, moved to Bakersfield. He was a real wordsmith and uh, didn't waste a lot of words on flowery things. He just got to the point and got it said. I mean, brevity in words. He, he wrote very few words. If you look at a lyric sheet of Together Again, there's not much there, but it's all there. Those two ballads, if he'd written nothing else but Crying Time and Together Again, he'd belong in anybody's Hall of Fame in my book. Together again The gray skies are gone You're back in my arms Now boy he was always, I think, considered a little above your average hillbilly. You know, he just had a little more class in some form or fashion. I was a big fan of his writing. He wrote a lot of different styles things. You know, it's very hard to just pigeonhole Buck and say, well, he wrote this because, I mean, crying time together again are different from Tiger by the Tail, you know, and these kinds of things. So uh, he wrote a wide variety of stuff, and I think that was one of the keys to his success. He became such a a monumental, gigantic, tremendous artist in a short amount of time, really. I think the Bakersfield sound was established by Buck and Don Rich and that Telecaster guitar. Buck had Don Rich with him most of his career, who, between the two of them, that was some pretty fine guitar playing. The Bakersfield sound was, uh, it permeated it permeated, you know, country and pop music for a, a little bit anyway, um, in, in, in the pop area. But in Nashville, people people gravitated to that, and people wanted to hear more of that. And it was a different mind. The songwriting was a different mindset. That music that was coming uh, from Merle and from Buck uh, at that point in time was really, really important to the business as a whole. I've got a tiger by the tail. It's let me tell you about Hee Haw. Nobody liked Hee Haw but the people. Critics didn't like it. People in the business didn't necessarily like it. But the fans loved it. And Buck knew that. And Roy knew that. And Sam Lovello knew that. And those others who appeared on Hee Haw, we knew that. And that's all that really mattered. The people loved it. Many people, I think, discounted Buck because of appearing as a comedian on Hee Haw. But the musicians and his fellow artists all could zero in on that talent, on the musical talent that was there. You've got me under your spell again. A lot of the young artists that came along, I mean, a lot of them will tell you that, you know, Buck was a big influence. And I think Buck. I think it was part Buck, part his singing, I think it was part his songs, and I think it was part the sound with, the, with Don Rich, you know, the guitar and everything. I think that influenced Brad Paisley and a lot of other people. If you've picked up a Telecaster guitar in country music, you're emulating Buck Owens, because that's his sound was completely the Telecaster thing. So Vince Gill, Brad Paisley, Dwight Yoakam, Keith Urban, all of these people on down the line. I hear some Don Rich every time I hear Brad play the guitar and I can't imagine uh, Brad being the musician and the songwriter he is without that Buck Owens influence. You don't know me but you don't like me Say you care that's how I feel How many of you that sit and judge Dwight and Buck doing those those records that they did, 
uh, I guess back in the 80s, were, were just uh, incredible. Um, they both really had an affinity for each other and it was, it was easy to see on the videos, it was easy to hear on the records when you listen to them on the radio. And all, all that, uh, what Dwight did to, for Buck's resurgence as a, you know, incredible American songwriter and singer was, was really great. I love so much of what he did. In fact, uh, Buck Owens, if you don't own Buck Owens live at Carnegie Hall, you, you better go get it. You know, we're all the sum of our experiences and the way we grow up and the, the way that we, you know, look at life and all is formed very early in us. And, and that's why none of us write songs alike. We all write, you know, different kinds of songs. And I think Buck's upbringing and I think uh, the way that he was raised in his life and all, I think it showed up a lot in his songs. If you want to take a Martian and they ask you what is country music, just play him a Buck Owens record, okay? Well, that's a very, very well-deserved honor, and, and uh, he's not only a great songwriter and a, and a great Texan, he's also one of the greatest entertainers that our business has ever had. Good evening, everybody. Peace and love. Yes, my name is Ringo, and I'll do anything for the buck, especially Buck Owens. I met Buck several times, a beautiful human being. He wrote many, many memorable songs. The movie's gonna make Tonight she's being inducted into the Hall of Fame. God bless you, Buck. And uh, so have a great night. Remember why you're there and why I'm here. Thank you. Peace and love. Peace and love. Hey, everybody. It's Vince Gill. I just want to take a minute to uh, congratulate Buck and his family and all of his friends on this great award. Uh, inspirational to me as a young kid, uh, probably six, seven-year-old kid. First time I heard Together Again, I was hooked. Uh, truly one of the finest songwriters ever in the history of country music, one of the greatest singers, also one of the greatest musicians. A lot of people don't really know what a great musician Buck was. So I just want to take a minute to say thank you for even thinking of me to, uh, to, to have a minute to, to say congratulations to his family. And uh, well deserved and uh, you inspired me 50 years later just like he did all those years ago. God bless. Hi, this is Dwight Yoakam in Hollywood, California, at Capitol Records' famous Studio A. The gentleman that you're paying tribute to tonight recorded many of his hit songs in this room. It's an honor to accept the Texas Heritage Songwriter Award for my friend Buck Owens. On behalf of Buck and his family, thank you so much for presenting him this award. That it won't be long before it's quiet time.